Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I want to go over with you my recent read for the Hear Our Voices book tour and that is for Like Home by Louisa Anome. This book recently just came out a couple days ago and I was just so excited that um excited to read this book in general. It was very good. I love the pace of it. It's just amazing. Um, but first, if you want to stay tuned for more of what I have to say about this book, please stay tuned. And I am back and if you're new to my channel welcome um so like I said before I am part of here our voices book tour um regarding this beautiful book right here that just released a couple days ago um and so let me go ahead and get started with what I thought of the book so I'm going to read this book a five out of five stars and I would just like to say like Louisa did her thing with this book um and Louisa she is actually she lives in Toronto and this is her debut book um but first off I would like to say this book is mostly about um about about pretty much um having the ability to um I would like to say how can I put this in a way where you're able to accept change there you go able to accept change and also this book is about gentrification um where a lot of people are, are being displaced in their neighborhoods rent is going up and everything and a lot of companies are buying houses or uh abandoned buildings and trying to pretty much um, make the um, neighborhood, um, you know, livable again, I guess you could say. Um, but also as they're doing this, they're displacing people and also um, the people that currently live there, the current residents, the rent is going up and everything, which it makes it very hard for people to stay. And so this book is following a girl named Chinello, um, which people, her friends and family call her Nello, but her mother calls her Chi Chi. And she's in a, um, a, a town called Ginger East. And Ginger East is a little town which is this is located in Canada I'm assuming and um she has a lot of friends that she grew up with but eventually they start to leave due to what had happened at an arcade um in their town of, and a shooting and they had lost one of their uh, friends there as well during that shooting near the arcade and so most of her friends gradually started moving out of Ginger East but one of her friends stayed and that is her best friend Kate um her best friend Kate her family um owns a store which is pretty much the store that um, is a landmark for the community and the town and that is the ginger store and um, they're called and Kate and Kate her family is called the trans mr. and mrs. trans um, and so one day um, they um, Chinella comes to tries to get ready for go to school she walks down the street and notices that someone had broken into or threw a brick at the gender store and pe and she's trying to figure out who would do such a thing and she assumes that someone did this that doesn't live in the town in the community because someone that lives in the town wouldn't do this because this is a landmark this is where everybody goes to you know as far as their needs and everything like that um but for this particular book um things start to take place that um that start to happen and Chanello is trying to bring all the pieces together now as Chanello is trying to put the pieces together and find out who did this to their their lovely store that they dearly love in this community um pretty much Kate she starts acting funny and weird towards um Chanello and she doesn't know why um she starts ignoring her and stuff and everything like that and all of a sudden Bo one of their friends that moved out of the um moved out of the town visits her a lot of times but Bo does not have or doesn't like think to contact Chanello and see what's going on. It's just it seems like there's a lot of secrets happening. So as Chanello is trying to figure out um, who pretty much uh, did this to the store, there was a she pretty much a video comes out. This was the point. This is where she's at the store when the incident first happens and the police is everywhere trying to investigate. There's yellow tape everywhere. And she says a certain statement, which goes viral. And um, she's being noticed and she's mostly like a celebrity now. Um, so at school, everybody's approaching her and they have Rafa, for short for Raphael. He is also a friend of hers that also used to live in um, Ginger East. And he's starting to come around a lot more and Chanello doesn't know why. Like, why are you now trying to talk to me and approaching me constantly and now asking to like text me and do, um, you know, group texts and chats and stuff like that. Um, so she's trying to figure out what's going on with that situation. Um, but still her prior priority is trying to get her community together and stuff like that. And so she starts to, as well as the community come together as part of um, creating a protest, a peaceful protest about what is happening and, and why the rent is going up. 
and everything like that and how it's be it's becoming difficult to live in their community and to stay in their community um especially with um pretty much everybody that's outside the community thinking that this is a bear a terrible community it's and they consider it ghetto it's just nothing good comes out of that community out of ginger east um so pretty much chanella goes um she as she get her videos viral a lot of news reporters are um approaching her and calling her and emailing her asking for an interview so soon she starts to give in thinking that she's going to this is going to help things are going to change um actually um speaking um on behalf of her community as opposed to other people outside of the community saying this and that about it so she wants to set the record straight but as she does this a lot of people in the community feel like she um, was exploiting them um and she did not want them to feel that way she thought she was stepping up to the plate um pretty much defending them um and their community but some people thought she was doing she did a great job and some people felt like she was being explo exploiting them and making matters worse and also bringing up the protests did not make it anything better so eventually the protest happens and um a p and you know um as the community is growing and people are buying out their these abandoned places and stuff like that they have the spice store um which is um a pretty good store which i feel like um which chanel feel like what chanello realizes would take the ginger store um the mrs and mrs trans business out of business pretty much um which is another reason why like i said the um, rents are going up because new buildings and corporations are buying the land which um a lot of places even in the u.s that happens and it's still happening today everywhere we are that happens regardless of what country you are or anything like that it happens gentrification is a thing where it happens a lot even in um in columbus where i'm located downtown they're starting to do a lot of things and build the community up um and so rent is going up as they're building new um condos and apartments and stuff like that and new um, stores are coming about um so yeah so gentrification is a real thing and displacing people is a real thing and so the protest happens and the police is everywhere um and chanel is trying to figure out like why is the police here we're just having a peaceful protest but eventually as we all know um peaceful protest becomes um filled with violence afterwards because of you know sometimes the police they become very violent toward the protesters and that's what happens and now it becomes like a riot in a sense and so now on tv and the news they consider a riot rather than a peaceful protest because the protesters were peaceful um but at the end it didn't turn out so good and a lot of things were damaged and everything like that so Chanello eventually finds out who really threw the brick and even um and so Chanello is just trying to figure out like why is this like what's happening but then Kate comes to her and tells her like you know like I've been wanting to leave this like this town like all my friends left um this this town has changed in a bad way nothing good is happening with this town and so Kate is, is now admitting to Chanello that she really wants to leave and move just like her other friends did um those uh, past years um you know when they were younger and Chanella doesn't get it but then as soon as Kate tries to tell her like thing like change is a good thing it's not a bad thing Chanella starts to consider her thoughts and actually takes into consideration what how Kate feels so with that being said like this is that was the gist of the book and I really 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 enjoyed it it was that good a five out of five stars for sure and like I said I just love this book um especially when it comes to gentrification and displacing people and you know and communities how I feel like in your own community you should you should have the you should have the ability to first bring up your community before corporate big corporations and stuff like that start buying the land and stuff like that it's just it just happens and I don't know how we could stop that you know what I mean about gentrification I mean it's a bad thing where you're displacing people and people have nowhere else to live this is where they live their whole entire lives and now you're upping the rent and their livelihood and you're forcing them to move out to somewhere else where they have no idea where that is or when they'll be able to you know like that so it's just it's a lot but this brings up a good awareness of gentrification and displacing people and like I said a five out of five stars for this book for sure I really recommend it if you haven't picked this up yet I suggest you do so it was really a quick read for me because I was really really into it um as well as the relationship between Chanello and Roth and how Roth or short for Raphael actually likes um Chanello and Chanello is starting to realize that she may like him too so there's a little bit of like a a little bit of romance uh, involved, uh, especially when it comes to Tanello and um, Roth, but also a little rom a romance between um, Kate and Bo, short for uh, <laughs> short for uh, Beethoven Jr. Yeah, Bo. 
from Beethoven. So yeah, that's why he does not like the, his name Beethoven. So that's why he goes by Bo. Um, but yeah, so there's like a love, there's a little bit of love interest in this book, which is also great. Um, but I also love the sense of community and just everybody coming together, which I really love about that so much, how people can come together and try to make things right and try to just work together in a peaceful way, you know, L love that. Um, but yes, once again, five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I really hope you pick this up. It just, like I said, a release a, release a couple days ago, so you can go pick up a copy today. Um, but yeah, so that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video of mine. I really hope you enjoyed my review of this book. But I let you know this book will not let you down. It is very well, um, it's very well written, I would like to say. And um, like I said, Louisa had did her thing with this book. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future, do so. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. And please, please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.